The pandemic has hampered efforts by law enforcement teams that go after Utah's most violent and dangerous fugitives. But now they say they're ready to begin cracking down once again. Spencer Joseph is live in Salt Lake City with a message from law enforcement tonight. Hi, Spencer. Hi, good afternoon. And by the numbers, they've actually arrested so far this year 70 adult probation fugitives. Now, that's also 300 in the last three years. The pandemic, though, has slowed them down, but they are saying that's all about to change. We are not talking about your petty, small level criminal and low level drug dealers. These are the most violent and dangerous criminals in our community. The Utah Department of Corrections and U.S. Marshals Violent Fugitive Apprehension Strike Team, or VFAST, came together Thursday to announce a renewed effort to catch the worst criminals Utah has. And an example of that is a man who was recently arrested for a bank robbery, a string of bank robberies, who had 68 prior arrests. Also addressing the issue of what is being called the revolving doors of the justice system. But too often, these violent criminals are brought in state charges and are not detained and are free to commit more crimes until we were asked to arrest them over and over and over again. We do our part. We expect the system to do its part. That's why this relationship is so important. The Department of Corrections also addressed those concerns, saying the pandemic has slowed efforts. It was difficult to say, you know, there was restrictions. You know, weighing public safety where there's risk going out and getting a fugitive, and it's it is, you know, unfortunately, that's the, the, the nature of where we've been the last year. But the message to these wanted fugitives from the 28 agencies that make up the VFAST team. If you've had a party in the last year, the party's over. Deputy Director Jim Hudspeth of the Utah Department of Corrections did say, despite the pandemic, that his work and the work of the U.S. Marshal's Office as well was exceptional during this time, despite that their challenge uh, during the pandemic. And they also say that they're very proud of the work that they were still able to do. Live in Salt Lake City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News.